George with Latino Review. Hi, George. How are you? How are you? Uh, okay, so when you're when you're getting ready to create like uh, the look for these Romulans, how far back are you going to try to you know make it as different as you possibly can without straying too far from the you know from from the look of them? Right back to the first one, uh -huh. uh, and through all of them, and all the way up to the very end, just to kind of get a good cross section of how they evolve because they they start with no prosthetics in the very first introduction of Romulan in the original series. Right. And then they end up with a ton of prosthetics as they evolved over time. So we had to come up with the, ju I felt we had to come up with a justification of why would they not have it then, and then have it, have the shape, not just prosthetic, but why would their shape change? Mm -hmm. So because these guys were pirates, were warriors, we came up with the idea, wouldn't it be interesting if through scarification, through constant car scarification, they develop a keloid of a V, which gives them that V brown. So the makeup kind of started to evolve that so that what you're seeing is not the finished product of the Romulans because obviously it's midway, um, but the beginning of when you're starting to create that keloid scarred V feature that becomes in the, the current incarnation of the series before the movie, um, it makes sense that they would have that shape. And moving on to like your future work, now how do you go about, how long was the process in, in getting the look for the for the Navi that, that, that you were trying to, to go for? You worked on that as well, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that was um, day one, uh -huh. which for me was May 5th, 2005. And then uh, when I was done in 2008-ish, uh, it was still being worked on. Yeah. Um, Jim, I think it's amazing about when you see the film, when you see the art of book or uh, things on the DVD about how it developed. You'll see a lot of Jim's drawings. That pretty much is what we, that was our Bible, or mm -hmm. his sketches, his critique. Um, it's really his baby, you gotta admit. Yeah. We did a lot of facilitating, a lot of um, what do you think, Jim, if we push it this way? Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, but for the most part, you're seeing it's his since what, 15 years ago. And you're also working on, on Tron Legacy? I, I just finished Tron Legacy. Okay, because I'm a huge Tron fan, like enormous Tron fan. Even, even the director was like, I, I think you know more about Tron than any. <laughs> to, so. Have you spoken to Joe? I have. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, great, numerous great. times. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what fans. And now, what exactly did you work on for for Legacy? Like, what did you do at for the that? beginning? The art department. Every one of us worked on everything. Because uh -huh. uh, it looks beautiful. I've seen so many sketches and, and, and designs and drawings of this thing. It looks fantastic. I did specialty costume. So okay. The, the main character's costume, the helmets. Um, I don't want to give any names or character names away, but pretty much the specialty costume characters. Right. What I was and what's different about the discs? Are they are they used differently with the suits? They're more. They're more. It's. Uh, they're used more. Let's put it that way. Okay. They used. They're more integrated with the suits. Um, the disc game. Yeah. Is really wider there. Right. But they, they become a more integral part in the story. In the narrative. So it's. I can't. The actual weapons or the, the the suits themselves. The discs. The discs themselves. Okay. A lot of. There's a, there's a purpose behind them. Right. Because they have like a little gauntlet thing that they're doing with their uh, like a tournament. With multi levels. Yeah, the disc game. Is yeah, the big thing. It's like the light cycle. Mm -hmm. There's two things that I think most Tron people will, will think of, and that is the disc game and definitely the light cycle. And the light cycle, I have nothing to do with it, so I can say without arrogance that it's a gorgeous, gorgeous version of Sydney's bike. Oh, cool. It's cool. It's so cool. cool. And then you're also working on Green Lantern, right? Yeah. Now, Martin talked about how this is going to have like something like 50 million, you know, visual special. Like it's just going to be nuts. This movie. And yeah. I it's huge. It's really again, daunting. Uh, it's uh -huh. so much. And I'm still on Avatar, away, I worked on it for three years, uh, did about 12 it's creatures. Definitely my favorite. Yeah. On Green Next Lantern, the original series, I'm on it for about three months, and we're doing I don't know where 30 from there, mm -hmm. creatures. So, now, uh, now, are you working on a lot of outer space stuff, or are you working on a lot of stuff that's on that's going to be on Earth? I'm working mostly on the core, the Green Lantern core. Okay. So, if you're familiar with the, the comic book, it's, it's all the crazy aliens. Uh -huh. There's some nutty stuff in the, in the comic book, which is great. So, a lot of the suits that you were working on, a lot of their suits too? And, and, uh... No, that'll be definitely costume. I'm okay. Doing that. I'll do the stuff that the costumer puts suits on top of. So what are a couple of the creatures that the, that the fans can expect to see? I don't think I can say, unfortunately. Not even one? No. Okay. <laughs> i got to play it safe. I can't. I can't. I'll block you out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, man. Well, I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you very time. much.